So these are all questions from uh, from 12th graders. I'm oh. sorry, 12-year-olds, 12, 12 12-year-olds. 12 <laughs> so they're 7th graders in Ohio. And the first question comes from Ava, and uh, she wants to know who it was who inspired you. Do you have any, you know, role models, you know, female or male? Who is it that made you want to fly? Yeah, so growing up, I really had my parents as pilots. And they were really cool. I thought they were really cool. They were flying a lot. And as I grew up, there's this one woman who's called Lillian Bland, and she was actually born a very long time ago. She was born in, uh, I believe, 1880s or 1890s, a bit before that even, sorry. And she uh, she wore trousers. And at the time, wearing trousers as a woman was very shocking. And nobody, nobody would do that, it was very weird. And then she wanted to actually become a horse racer. So okay. a jockey, which means you know you get on a horse and you start racing around the circuit, and she got all of her the necessary licenses and everything that she needed to start racing. But they said no, just because she was a woman. So then the Wright brothers created their first plane, and then a few years later she was inspired by that, and decided to build, design, or design, build, and actually fly her very own airplane. Wow. So she was kind of like the first female plane, um, you know designer, engineer, whatever you'd like. And then to, Even um, before Bessie Coleman or, or any uh, of those yes, others? Yeah, before any of those. So she was, she was really cool. And I think I love, I love what she did. And she just, every time she did something, she was completely differently than anyone else. Okay. And this is a question from Charlie at the same school. In, you know, convincing people that you are going to be able to tackle such a monumental task on your own. My mom, definitely. So my mom didn't want me to go at first. She said, Zari, sure, it's, it's dangerous and everything. And I told her, Mom, it's fine. The plane has a parachute. And she thought I would carry a parachute and then jump out of the plane. Mm -hmm. And so she said, Zara, there's no way you are going to jump out of a moving aircraft So with a parachute on. And I said, no, 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 the actual plane has a parachute. So the mm -hmm. plane parachute will open and the whole plane goes down to the ground. Mm -hmm. So once you had that, you know, the uh, the biggest detractors who were saying, you know, you really think you can do this, they were not as hard to us win over, correct? Yeah, they were fine. I think, uh, and I've had a few people questioning whether I'd be able to do it, but then I crossed the Atlantic and I think I shut some of them up. <laughs> okay. The last question comes from a uh, young man named Carter out in California, and he says that, you know, Navigate, navigating and aviating and communicating aside, you know, what are you thinking about most when you're up there? I'm sort of just enjoying the views. I'm listening to music, I'm listening to everything. And I just kind of sit there and think about life, about the flights, about that, um, the sunset in the background, or wondering what that building is. Okay. Yeah. okay.